last night I was on Tucker, uh, and he was talking about uh, how the uh, how the Democrats are now talking about the election being stolen and they're talking about it in many many different ways they're talking about the president is trying to use the postmaster general to uh stop the election and all of the uh the absentee ballots that are going out uh, that's a point where they're going to say he stole the election they're saying that now he's working again with russia guys did you read the reports that i mean he, he wasn't working with russia the first time what do you think he would work with russia now Russia is trying to steal the election, but of course, do we have that uh, that uh, sought from uh, from Nancy Pelosi from a couple of days ago, where she was talking about this? Yeah, she was she was talking about it, and she said that uh, you know, but uh, you know, in China, uh, China doesn't like us either. That's another global power, but th- but they're fine. They're not doing anything. China, you're okay with China? You no reason to look into China. China is for uh, Joe Biden. That's why. They don't want Donald Trump. Russia doesn't want Donald Trump either. Russia just wants the chaos. China is actually playing for the guy they've already paid for. Look, they, they bought their presidential candidate. They paid for him through his son. Uh, we want what we paid for. Well, of course China cares. Uh, they're not going to do anything. No, 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 no. Because they're on the up and up. They sent us the coronavirus. <laughs> what? They're, oh, no. It, no, no, no. We, we are totally innocent. We're just, we're just eating here. Just all you can hear is the, the sound of our chopsticks eating. We're just having lunch right now. Nothing. Really? By the way, I don't know why the Chinese sound uh, like Russians. Uh, oh, Oh, I do. I do remember. It's okay to make the Russian accent because they're a bunch of white guys. So anyway, um, right now we have a situation to where they are setting us up. Anything the Democrats say they are doing. And I know, you know, if you've been paying attention, if you've been paying attention, you know that whatever they say Trump is doing, they are doing. They are saying that Trump is planning for all of these riots afterwards, that he's not going to leave. He's going to contest if he if he doesn't win. Those are all the things they're going to do. Right now, could I ask you if you really cared about this election? And I do. I deeply care. I mean, what they, they worry about Russia. OK, well, let's just look at a couple of things. The mail in ballots. Hundreds of thousands of these ballots have been deemed fraudulent. Hundreds of thousands. Half a million incorrect absentee ballot applications were sent out. Half a million. That's to one state. In the New York City primary, 84,000 incorrect ballots uh, sent. They're still counting the primary for the presidential election. They're still counting the ballots in New York. Really? So we have, we have a party that screwed up their own caucus in Iowa. I think they're still counting ballots. I think they're still like, hang on, hang on. We're going to get a winner here soon. They screwed up their own caucus by trying something new. They have already sent out tons, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of incorrect absentee ballots. I'm not making this up. A cat that has been dead for nine years got a ballot. Okay? Why would we change at this critical time? Why would we change our ballot counting and the way we do our ballots? It is more uh, important than ever that we don't try something new. What are we doing? How does that make sense? Unless you're trying to create chaos. That is the operative word. As I told you 10 years ago, when we get into this thing, chaos will be the operative word. Anybody that is trying to cause chaos on either side in any way, run, run. It is honestly one reason why I worried about Donald Trump. He lives in a world of chaos. But as we have seen, he may be the only one that can navigate the world of chaos. Look at him. 
uh, Mr. President, uh, somebody's in the hallway. They might want. They might want to shoot you. <sighs> Again, okay. I mean, he he can live and thrive in that uh, world. Chaos is coming. Then they're worried about the. They're worried about the uh, Russians. Well, we told you about this in 2014, what the Russians were doing. And we told you at the time, they are not picking somebody to win or lose. They are only trying to divide us. That's why when we went back and we looked at all of the social media that they put out, they were for the cops and against the cops. They were for Hillary and against Hillary. They were for Trump and against Trump. They were only trying to get us to hate each other. That's the quickest way to dismantle us. That's why the Democrats and their Marxist friends are doing this to us. Because they need us divided. If you really cared about the election, you would be watching China and Russia. You would not be trying to do some new kind of voting. You would not be asking for absentee ballots when we know absentee ballots are bad. We know they are. We know that that has a long history of being inaccurate and slow. What was it? One of the primaries that just happened, Stu, they found like 80,000 ballots. Oh, you know what? We just found these 80,000 in this box over here. We... Wait, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, now, are you when you're saying this, you mean, are you talking more about mail-in voting than absentee mail-in voting? voting? OK, yeah, yeah so mail-in sure. voting. There is a this distinction. New there. Mail-in, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. This new mail-in voting idea. Let's not try anything new. Let's not try new machines out. Let's not try anything out. Now they're saying, you know, we just might not know on day number one. Uh, this, this is going to be so close. Really? Why is that? Because we've had close elections before. Uh, You know, the only one in my lifetime was was Gore and Bush. Why is everyone saying, oh, it could be weeks before we know how this ends? Hmm. Why are they setting us up for this? It's the mail in thing, right? I mean, they think that people are going to mail in. Some of these states have it where if you're postmarked by the, the date of the vote, it counts. So, I mean, you, if it God, comes in, it could arrive four days after the election. Oh, really? So I'd have time. I got it. So I would have time to go, oh, I'm about 5,000 ballots short. Uh, <laughs> hey, look what just came in the mail. 